Welcome in for the final segment of tonight's show. We will have the Usaira softball program on with Coach Budge Hargis and his players, as well as assistant coach Jill Burling. But first, I'd like to remind you that this show is brought to you in part by Lee Plymel and Brad Seibert of the Plymel Insurance Group, Usiris and Galleon, Hannah Newton at Wendy's, Downtown Usiris Center for Sandusky, and North Central State College, Mansfield, and the Crawford Success Center in Usiris. So thank you very much for coming out tonight, Coach Hargis. Yep, thank you. And you guys are the reigning Northern Ten champions last year. You wrapped up with a 17 and four record overall, 14 or 10 in the Northern Ten Conference. But you do lose uh, reigning Northern Northern Ten uh, Conference Player of the Year, Kaylee Rister, and something that Coach Jennings from Winford pointed out. She's a two-time Conference Player of the Week for the Penn State Athletic Conference, so she's carrying on that softball success to the next level. But you also lose five other seniors as well, not to just highlight Kaylee. But so, how are you going to try and replace that pitching loss uh, by Kaylee? Well, I, I don't know if you can replace a player like that. I mean, I, I uh, this is the first time I've had two players. Her and Jay Torrey led this team and worked as hard as two individuals that I was coached. To. And they made what they are today because, you know, they just got work people and they enjoyed the game. And, and we had a lot of fun. And, Sitting uh, here at the table, we do have uh, senior Ashley Davis, and she was second in the league to Kaylee Rister for ERA. She had 1.93 across 29 innings pitch, so I'm sure you're going to be looking for her to try and replace some of that pitching loss from Kaylee. Yeah. Well, you know, we talk about people working. She's worked extremely hard, too. She's going to be a four-year letterman. She does what we ask. She gets in there and, and does a lot more than she's required to do for us. And, and I take those athletes all the time. Show me, you know, we go in with the idea, you know, we can't, you're not going to control us. You're not going to control the game. You're not going to control the empire. The only thing you can control is yourself. And she's done a great job of that. And the athletes that we have this year have done a great job. So outside of these two, who are some other players on this softball team that you're looking at trying to excel on the diamond? I, I, that's up to them. You know, we, we have nine freshmen that came in. We have competition in all positions right now. And if I want to tell you the starting line of people's position, I couldn't do that yet, especially the way we practice today. Okay. Now, but they're all working hard and, and doing what we ask. And I'm sure the more reps we get, that things will work out like that. But, but these two girls are an important part of this. We have one senior who's not here at this college. Uh, she, she was sick, went home from school sick. Gotcha. And Perry is her last name. And, and these seniors are showing the leadership that the group of five did last year, the six that we had. And uh, that, that makes the job a lot easier. I'm having fun. I don't know about the kids, but I'm having fun. Uh, so to end your season last year, you did lose to Carey in the tournament opener, I believe, three to nothing. So obviously not the way you wanted to end it. After such a successful season in the regular season with the Northern Ten Conference, especially losing to a league opponent like Carey. So what are the th uh, steps you've taken throughout this year, throughout this off season, to try and prepare after that loss? Hit the ball. I mean, I, I made Jill Burrow the hitting coach this year. I should have made her the hitting coach last year. We did, we just went into that ball game and we were fried on off that couldn't hit the ball. Did we throw it well? Yeah, we threw it well. We've got some different aspects of the game. And you have to play them all three if you want to play them. Well, thank you for coming out. Uh, before we talk to the players, I'd like to remind you that the show is brought to you in part by Vince Ponziani and Associates at Waycraft Industries, Rod Steiger and Associates at Pizza Hut, Usiris and Galleon, host of our show since 1992, as well as the Burkhardt Farm or the Burkhardt family at the Burkhardt Farm Sales, your case IH dealer on the Minette New Winchester Road. Up first, we have Carmen Blizzard. Carmen, thank you for coming out this evening. Mm -hmm. uh, so what positions do you play on the team? Um, I'm going back and forth right now between first and second. So those two positions being in infield, you obviously have a lot of uh, defensive responsibility. Describe some of those responsibilities that you do have. Um, biggest thing is probably not let the ball get past me because that would cause a lot of issues in the field. And being first base, possibly, that's a big part because every play pretty much runs through me. And would you say that overall you uh, like to rely on your defense more being in the infield there or do you like having the bat in your hands? I don't have a ton of experience because when I was a sophomore, it was COVID and get, didn't get to play. And then last year, I tore my ACL. So it's really my first season back in Since the freshman year. Yeah. yeah. So uh, just what are some team goals you guys have this year? Obviously, you won the Northern 10 Conference last year. You had a lot of success. So what are you and your other seniors and the other team uh, members going to try and do to build on that heading into this year? Um, 
I say to just continue, like continue the success and keep working hard. And my goal personally is because I don't have a ton of experience is just to be a leader and keep everybody positive. All right, well, thank you for coming out tonight. And then next up, we have Ashley Davis. Like I mentioned earlier, Ashley was second in the league for ERA with a 1.93, posted across 29 innings pitch. So and obviously you, you backed up a very strong pitcher in Kaylee Richter, but you're, not, kind of, you're at the forefront of that. So what have you done to try and mentally and physically prepare yourself going into this season? Um, you know, I've known Kaylee being a year ahead of me that I'm gonna, I was going to have to step up my senior year, and I've definitely been working hard all winter and working for that, and I think I'm ready to kind of take that on this year. So being a pitcher, uh, do, you, do you like having the bat in your hands once it comes for that time, or do you kind of shy away from that? Um, I love hitting. Um, I'm really excited to be able to hit more this year. Um, so I like both, honestly. Gotcha. And there, is there any other positions that you can like find yourself be plugged into outside a pitcher if need be? Yeah, I'll probably play first, mostly when I'm not pitching. But um, I've played second in the past before, too, if I have to, yeah. And I think Coach mentioned you guys, there's three of you seniors. Mm -hmm. So obviously kind of a small group uh, for a team overall, but I'm sure a tight knit group. So talk about what it's like being with all these girls, growing up through the years, being able to play softball together. And now finally it's your senior year. You're coming off of a Northern 10 title. What do you guys, what have you guys learned from being able to grow together? Um, uh, we're a really young team this year. Obviously, like you said, only three seniors, but I've liked kind of getting to know the younger girls more and learning how to work together as a team. And I think we're gonna have a lot of success this year with that. And I, like I mentioned, you had 29 innings pitch last year, which is not jumping off the numbers, too, because I think Kaylee had something like 103 or something like that. So uh, are you worried about how your arm is going to feel as I'm sure you're going to carry a little bit more of the workload pitching? Um, I'm not worried about it. I'm used to throwing a lot um, all summer from travel ball, and I've played for a long time, so I don't think I'm really worried about that too much. All right. Well, thank you for coming out and good luck uh, this season. Thank you. Before we talk to you, Coach Hargis, once more, I'd like to remind you that this show is brought to you in part by Blythe Freely and Todd McDougall at Freely and Company Insurance in New Washington. Ted Coder at the Monarch Body Shop in New Washington, as well as the Ohio State University at Marion, a Big Ten education close to home. So what are your numbers overall this year, Coach Hargis, 9 through 12? Uh, we have 24 kids. Uh, we have nine freshmen that come in. Of course, we only have three seniors. Uh, the turnout's been good for us. Um, they're a great group of athletes, the whole group I'm talking about here, and they're working hard. So, so overall, it, 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 we're going to be all right. We will have a good team. And, and, and let me add that this is great for the kids, what you're doing, the sponsors for this, and the way it goes on. It's, that is, that is the community effort that these kids need. Just somebody to pay attention to them a little bit. Yep. Somebody to work for them a little bit. And they'll, they'll respond. They're good kids. I'd certainly like to thank Dan Messer, Smith, the sports director, for getting these softball schedules put together and getting the coverage that you guys need. So overall, have you had a pretty good off season? Have you guys been able to get on the field so far this year? Listen, if you talk about her pitching, she won't leave you alone. She wants to throw the ball all the time. She wants to throw it to batters. She's out there, and her and her dad are working all the time to do that. So we got we got kids that came upstairs and hit. We have an open cage once, twice a week or something. We have some kids come up there, so they're working at the game. So the impression they're leaving me with is they want to play. Now it's our job as coaches. Let's get them in a position. Let's tell them what to do and sit back and eat ice cream. Building off of last year, what is the biggest thing that you are looking forward to with this group of girls as you guys take time for the first time? They're going to surprise us. I mean, there's, this group is going to either, you know, we know that we've got some good athletes. We know they can pick up the ball. But the other day, I think they hit a satellite as it was going by. We threw it away times at times like that. But then tonight they come back and they look like a ball team. They're really in it. So they're, they're going to surprise us. They're, they're going to, we're going to take what we get and we're going to put it down and then we're going to go ahead and the next step. Talking about the start of the season, who do you guys open up with? Uh, Elgin, we have Elgin, and then River Valley, I think it's the deal, those two. And how's your non-league schedule looking like as a whole this year? I, I try to beef it up as much as we can. Right. And, uh, uh, I couldn't give it all to you, but, but teams that are played and, and that type of stuff that we play, that is, we would like, we want competition. Right. I mean, no matter what, how it falls, what we do, but we want to play somebody. And if, and if we go in there and, and lose a game or win a game by a run or stuff like that, there's still a lot of coaching. 
And obviously, you guys want to see yourself at the top of the Northern 10 Conference. You guys want to compete for a title. But who are some other teams that you are looking at that are also going to compete for a league title? I, I, you know, I, I don't look really look at stuff like that. There's some good – this is a great league for softball. Mm -hmm. and, and I really don't look and see what team is the best and what's going on. I'm worried about us. Right. What are we going to do? Make our kids as good as we can. Let them go play the game and the chips are going to fall where they are. Now, I, I, I know that Jamie over here would like to beat us, but she ain't going to do that. <laughs> okay. We're going to go after people with a good Right. 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 All right, well, I thank you for coming out tonight, and good luck on the season. Before we wrap up, I'd like to remind you that this show is brought to you in part by Mike Kleinite at Ag Credit Residential Lending, Bucyrus, Mount Gilead, and Marion, Dr. Thomas M. Britton at the Club View Vision Center, and Lou Ann Krebs at Rivers Edge Embroidery, screen printing and signs at Route 309 across from the Marion Depot. I would like to thank Buckeye Central baseball coach Chad Jensen and his players for coming out tonight, Winford coach Jamie Jennings and her players for coming out tonight, as well as Bucyrus coach Pudge Hargis and assistant Joe Burling and their players for coming out Tonight, special thanks to everybody here at the Pizza, Bucyrus Pizza Hut, including the Bucyrus Pizza Hut manager, Crystal Stewart. I'd like to thank the North Central Ohio Media Group for their continued support in this opportunity. I'd like to thank my parents, Chris and Sarah, to all my siblings, to all my friends, and of course, for all of you for listening to me tonight. Coming up later this evening, actually going on right now, it's the Chris Holman call-in show going on right now on Iconic Rock Q92.7 WQEL. And with high school basketball wrapped up, we won't have any more high school sports coverage until the start of uh, baseball and softball. But Friday we will have number seven Ohio State against number ten Loyola Chicago at twelve fifteen from the PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, which is the opening round of the NCAA tournament. And with a win, Ohio State would play the winner of number two Villanova and number two or number fifteen Delaware at a date to be determined. This is Cameron Moon reminding you to be safe and have a good night, everybody.